Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 2022 with the Orlando Magic. And it was a crazy offseason, if you remember correctly. A lot of changes. We turned over the roster, said goodbye to Zach Levine, um, said goodbye to... Um, who else did we say goodbye to? I can't even remember. So many changes. Uh, and we bring in the big fish is obviously Jason Tatum, a uh, couple of young three and a half, four star, uh, nineteen year old rookies Reggie Atkins and Thiago Batista. Uh, we bring in Marcus Smart, uh, bring in Harrison Barnes, um, and we are in pretty good shape. Uh, I think. I don't know if we are good enough to win it all. But I think we are more athletic. I think we have enough scoring. I think we have more than enough defense. Um, and we will see how it goes. So we're at training camp. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that we are setting uh, individual player training. Um, so Roy Thomas is just sort of an inside guy. I mean, he can shoot. I want him to work on his rebounding and his defense because I would really like him to be able to play more. So I'll have him work on his rebounding and his defense. I don't care about his outside shooting. Um, you don't have a rebounding option. Maybe we do it like this. Something like that. Work on your rebounding drills more. Uh, improving agility for steals and blocks. That's fine. I would rather him work on his post more. Grunman. Oops. Grunman, I want him to work on outside shooting. Maurice Williams He's, I just want, let's just, I don't care about your post moves. I don't care about your free throws. I want you to work on your three-point shooting and your steals and blocks. I just want, I want you to be a three and D kind of guy. Uh, Diago Batista. All right. So what do we want our rookie working on? Ball handling. So let's get to the point guards. Drop the offensive skills a little bit. Passing, ball handling, three-point shooting, agility. Uh, Atkins, for you, it's all about... Oops, did I forget to... Yeah. For Atkins, it's all about the shooting. We need to be working on your offense here. Suggs and Tatum can just kind of do whatever. Uh, and we will run the training camp. Uh, let's see, anything? That's fine. Let's run the training camp. And I'm going to eat an apple, so I ex excuse me for the noise. Okay, so Atkins' attitude towards me dropped. That's not good. Hmm. Batista got a lot better. That's what I wanted to see. All right, so what's your problem, man? What is your problem? Where are you? Right there. I only dropped a little bit. Whatever. Uh, so shooting didn't get much better. Uh, it's decent defensively. He's probably not going to play a ton. Uh, I don't know that he's really developed at a point where he's going to play a whole lot. Um, Batista, on the other hand, is already up to three and a half stars. Uh, he's going to be our starting, uh, gonna be our starting uh, uh, point guard. So let's get into the draft. Make sure we have all that scouted. We do. Uh, do we want to send anybody to the D League? I think we do. I think we are going to send the other first round pick, Roy Ferguson, to the D League. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So yeah, so Ferguson 
can go to the D-League. And we will advance to the D-League. And then we'll sign the, the back of the bench filler just to get some players to make sure that we have enough in case of, you know, the inevitable uh, the inevitable draft day sports injury list. And we'll set our lineups and we'll get to Simmon. I'm excited about this team. Uh, I think we have some good young talent mixed in with some veterans, Suggs and Tatum. I think our center position will be okay with Bradley and Roy Thomas. This is going to give Thomas a chance to play a whole lot more. He hasn't played a ton his first couple of years. I mean, he's probably playing in the teens. He'll probably be in the low 20s now because I'm basically just going to split time between Thomas and uh, Tony Bradley. Yeah, I am recording. Just wanted to make sure there. All right, so let's get to – let's look at free agents. Let's just see who the best of the best are. Let's get Jared Butler. A two and a half star, Marco Simonovic. I think we sign him. Two star, two and a half star. We will also sign Jared Butler. I like those two star, two and a half star ratings. And then we can sign one more if we even really need to. Who's the best defensive player left out there? Travis Ruddick and Jerome Barnes. Let's do Ruddick because he's 26 and he plays center. All right. Oh, I already have 15 players on the roster. Okay. All right. Let's set. It's time to set our depth. The game is going to do it the way it wants to do it. So we will just come back in here and change everything. Yeah, I'd rather have Suggs playing off the ball more. That tells me that he should get some more offensive opportunities that way. Suggs is a 76 ball handler, uh, 67 passing. Batista 72. So right now, inside, outside, 87, 66, 80. Yeah, I guess that makes sense to have Suggs as the point guard and Batista as the, the shooting guard. Tatum oh, wants to start Thomas. I'm not interested in that. I want to start Bradley because of the defense. Because we have enough defense on the bench with Williams, Smart, Thibel. So, all right. Our backup point guard will be Marcus. Let's move him up here. Bring Marcus in here. Get the customary 12 minutes. Um, Thibel, there's not going to be a lot. See, I have to make sure, however, that we always have Tatum or Suggs out there just from a defensive perspective because we don't have a lot of offense out here at all. Uh, 10, 12, 2. Um, Thomas will back up at the 4. I guess we'll start with the 5. So he'll play here here and then he'll come in here like that I don't want Grunman playing that much so let's do this there and here I don't need Bradley playing that much either um He's a shooter and not a very good one. I guess Labasser can play some minutes at center as well. Do something like that. Atkins should get plenty of playing time. I just don't know. He's six nine. I mean, he could play. And he could easily play the four. So let's do this. Let's 
give him some minutes at the four. Yeah, let's just give him those minutes at the four and then give the center minutes to Atkins and just do something like that. Oops. So do we have Tatum or Suggs out there at all times? No, we have a little gap here where we don't. But that's – we got Grunman out there to provide a little bit of offense. We'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. And let's get to Simmons. First game at home against the Cavs. It's a 120 to 107 loss, so that's not good. So Grunman had 22. Tatum with 18. Thomas with 18 off the bench. Batista, 10 points in his debut. Okay. Not a great start to the season. I feel like we should be better defensively than that. I feel like we should be better defensively than that, but all right, it's early. On the road against the Wizards, another loss. We give up 135 points in that one. Hmm. All right, let's take a look. We'll take a look at the strategies here in a minute. Tatum with 20, Grunman with 26. I don't understand how we're that bad defensively through two games. Um, we're not going to play seven seconds. We're going to play pace and space. We're going to switch defensively. And see if that works. I forgot to change the style of offense. Seven seconds worked. Okay, so Jason Tatum comes home and we give up 144 points. Uh, we're 0-3 out of the gate, guys. Which I don't understand. Because Bradley's a very good defender. Huh. I don't understand it. Not... <laughs> This is not the start we would have hoped for. I was excited coming into this season. Can we finally win one? Yes, there we go. 122 to 97 over Brooklyn. The offense comes alive. Defense continues to play well. Or not continues. Defense plays well. Tatum has five points. Really? Suggs with 20 and 6. Grunman with a huge game. 36 points, 11 rebounds. Sorry, 28 a game out of the shoot here. Thomas doing a really nice job off the bench. 17 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. All right. So we pick up our first win. It's something. It's something. There's another win, 103 to 81. So the defense hold back-to-back -back opponents under 100 points. 26 and 11 for Suggs, 22 for Grunman. How's Batista doing out of the shoot? 13 points, four and a half assists, two and a half rebounds. For a 19 year old, I will take it. Atkins, four points, two and a half rebounds. It's a bad Bucks team, though. So, yeah, we won, but what does it mean? All right, now we have a challenge. We're at home against the four and one Nuggets, and we get blown out. Suggs with another good game. Tatum over 20. The Joker, 37 and 12. Ugh. All right, so two and four. Just another bad start. This is like four straight seasons of just really uneven starts for our teams. We've turned it around most of the years, but, uh, but not this one. Not this one so far. We're on the road against Utah, and somebody's hurt. Oh, good. Are we without both? They're going to make it hard on me, aren't they? No, we will put Smart out there. All right, he's probable, so we can 
leave him out there with Marcus, I guess. Uh, let's get Thibel out there some more. We don't need Marcus playing 36 minutes at this point in his career. And we win. All right, so we win on the road. That's our best win of the year. And a road victory over against over a good Utah team. Win 90 to 87, 29 and 12 for Grunman, 20 and 11 for Tatum. Suggs with his worst game of the year, but that's fine. Thomas, 15 points off the bench. Marcus Smart, 10 rebounds. Still shoots too many threes, but a win's a win. All right, so we should have Batista back. We do. Actually, let's restore the lineup. Um, all right, so three and four on the road against the Pelicans. Three and five. And our losses are not even close. We're getting destroyed in the games that we're losing. Grunman continues to play well for us. Twenty almost twenty-six and eight. Tatum's at eighteen and six and a half. That's not great. I expected more out of him. Suggs only has two points in limited minutes. All right, three and five. At home against Dallas now, three and six. Another blowout. This time we lose by almost 30. Who boy, not a great start to this season, guys. I still feel like this is the team that's going to get it done. I feel like this is a very balanced roster. Just for some reason, it's not working right now. And we have a team incident because we're bad, so the players are mad at each other. Bible and Labasser were arguing. I don't care. At home against the Pacers. 131 to 121 win. So defense not great that time, but the offense picked it up anyway. Tony Bradley, 24 and 10. Good game for him. Tatum with 22. Grunman continues to just beast. 29 and 11. Suggs, 16 and 13. Thomas continues to play well off the bench. Of ability 80. I need him. Yeah, I don't under... We've got Bradley, who's got a 90... He's an 85 defensive rating. We have Grunman, who's average. Tatum at a 62, so he's slightly above average. Suggs is a 56, so he's average. And Batista's a 60. So I guess offensive... Our, our starting lineup doesn't have a lot of great defense out there. Thomas is average. Smart's a 71, so he's above average. Thibel is... A 91, so he's well above average. Williams is above average. So, yeah, I mean, we've got... I, I, I think defensively we're fine. It's just not... Not working right now. Not working right now. <clears throat> At home against the Raptors. 110 to 108. So we're approaching 500. And every year we've gotten off to it. We were 8-10 and 10 last year before winning 58 games. So I'm hoping it's more of the same. All five starters in double figures. A double-double for Bradley. The bench gets absolutely waxed. Look at those plus minuses for the bench. Thankfully the starters played well. Almost a triple-double for Tatum. 22 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists. Another team incident like three days later. Who is it now? A major team incident report. Jalen Suggs and Marcus Smart. Okay. So he hates us. Whatever. I'm not doing anything with that right now. I feel like they should be able to work through that. All right, so we got a tough team at home with a chance to reach 500, and we do. 
Maurice Williams is hurt again, but we win 115-109. to 109. So we're back to 500. So an 0-3 start, 6-3 uh, and 3 in our last 10. So I will take it. There's Clint Capella, the man we traded last season. Off to a pretty good start for San Antonio this year. Bradley with a double-double, 20 points for Grunman and Tatum. Suggs, 15. Batista, 18. 19-year-old doing a nice job. All right, how long is Williams out for? 15 days. All right, so we will small forward, small forward, small forward, small forward. Tatum and Thibault. There we go. That'll work. Now, I don't understand why our defense is so, so bad. At home again against the Heat. And we're over 500 now, so 7-3 and three in our last 10. Suggs with 24. Goes to the line 16 times. 24, 6-6. Six and six. Tatum has 20. What's his scoring up to now? It's up to 19. All right, 19 points, 6.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists. Still not great, but I think he'll be okay. The efficiency's down a little bit. The PER. A PER is right in line with the last couple years, though. So I think he'll be fine. Batista with a career high 21. <clears throat> Lakers are 2 and 11. On the road against the Celtics, we're only 1 and 3 away from Orlando. Make it 2 and 3 as we beat the Celtics by 17 points in Boston. Tatum with only 13 has 6 points, 6 rebounds, 24 for Grunman, double double for Suggs, 10 points, 10 rebounds. Good game for Batista. Good game for Atkins and Thomas. They played this game without Jalen Brown. Max Struess. He can shoot. Max Struess can shoot the basketball. All right, so we're 8-6 after an 0-3 start. So it's a little bit better. And we're on the road now against the Pacers. And there's another yeah, another loss. We win the games we should lose, and we lose the games we should win. Jason's been lights out. We will offer the praise. The effort decreases as expected. Uh, 108-100. We're up by 10. After we out got outscored by 19 points in the fourth quarter. So what can we do about that? That's a pretty good team. Sabonis, Ingram, and Turner. Karis LeVert off the bench. It's a pretty good team. Tatum with 26. Is it fatigue? It shouldn't be. They all get like 10 minute breaks here before they come back in. Just confirm that we're the worst team defensively in the NBA. We are one of the worst, yes. Uh, our, our off offensively, we're great. I knew we would be good offensively, and I thought we would be better than this defensively. So we're third in points scored, 29th in points allowed. Eight and seven. Ooh. On the road against a good Bulls team. They beat us by 20. We're back to 500. And once again, we get off to an uneven start. Batista, five fouls in 15 minutes. That ain't going to get it done. Thomas with a good game off the bench. Tatum with 20. Double-double for Grunman. Just another blast start to the season, right? Just another one. We're on the road now against one of the best teams in the NBA, so this should be loss number three in a row, and it is. <sighs> one point loss to Cleveland on the road. That's a toughie. Three and 
Three players with more than 20 points. Batista with a solid game. 25.7 rebounds, 9 assists. Just couldn't get past. That's a good team. Randall Bridges, Mobley, and Garland. Van Vliet off the bench. Who's this? David Gordon. Huh. All right. So we're 8 and 9. And we started 0 and 3. Then we went 8 and 3. And now we've gone 0 and 3. We win there to re even our record at 9 and 9. Beat him this time with Jalen Brown. Tatum 24, Grunman 26. Jason Grunman, man, having just a fantastic start to the season. Twenty, Almost 24 points a game. Four players with more than 20. Batista, Suggs, Tatum, and Grunman. Don't get much from the bench, but that's fine. Atkins hurt. Yeah, he's out for a couple of days. It's fine. I'm not keen on making any deals because I do truly feel like this team is good enough to get it done. Um, but we'll see. I mean, and we move back over 500. A 40, 40 burger for Jalen Suggs in this one. 40 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals for Jalen Suggs. His best game of the year. 20 points for Bradley. Only... Tatum goes two for 13. All right, so our two main scorers do Jack, Grunman, and Tatum. 20 points between them on 5 of 24 shooting. And we still manage to squeak out a victory. Yeah, I'm not keen about making any deals right now because I like our roster setup the way it is. But, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. We got a game against the Heat here, a divisional game. That's a big win right there early in the season over the divisional rivals, the Heat. 95 to 92, keep that scoring down. Tatum with 27. Suggs followed up his 40 point with a 16 and 6. Double double for Grunman. He hasn't really developed. He was like the, yeah, he was a top pick, Denny of Avdija. Um. Okay, well, let's move forward. At home, we better not lose this game. Uh. <sighs> Against a two and seventeen Los Angeles Lakers team, they come into Orlando and beat us at home. Hmm. 20 points and 16 rebounds for Thomas. That's that that loss sucks. That one makes me angry. All right, so we are at December 1st. Been going for about 28 minutes here. Um, let's look at the standings. I think I'm going to call it here guys. We're at that 30 minute mark. We are in 4th place. 4 games out of 1st. Um yeah, another difficult start. Better than last year. Better than the 8 and 10 start we had last year. We are 11 and 10. Uh, we are in the playoff hunt, um, but behind a very good Charlotte Hornets team and a very good Washington Wizards team. So if we take a look at our team stats, Grunman leading us in scoring 22 a game, Suggs at 18. Tatum at 18 as well. It's shooting could be a little bit better. I'd also like to see him pick up a few more rebounds. But uh, Thiago Batista, a pretty good rookie season so far. 14 and a half, four and a half assists, almost four rebounds. Roy Thomas having a great year. Shooting 52% from the floor, 12 points, six and a half rebounds. He and Bradley are doing a nice job as that, uh, that center tandem for us, averaging about 21 and 13 a game between the two of them. Marcus Smart, meh. He's not shooting, but that's not why he's here. Three points, three uh, five points, three rebounds, three assists a game. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we have a good mix. I feel like our team is set. Uh, I feel like we have some talent. Um, we have three first round picks coming up this year. We have Charlotte's and San Antonio's. Charlotte is obviously one of the best teams in the East. And San Antonio is one of the best teams in the West. So that looks like three really low draft picks. But uh, nonetheless, we are through 
uh, November. We are 11 and 10, so it's another uneven start. We started 0 and 3, then we went 8 and 3, then we went 0 and 3, um, and we've gone 3 and 2 in our last five. So up and down, up and down we go. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye-bye.